Hello Collective, I was praying that Spirit Guides take over this message. Please let a good message come out that we will all understand. I've been making us a lot of new cards, Collective. I've got more coming in like this. I can't wait to get them so I can show you all some cool stuff that I've been doing. Oh, somebody's going to see what happens when they play with Chosen Ones on Earth. Hey. <laughs> Somebody caught the karmic out in town selling drugs to someone in your friend slash family group. Ooh. So, somebody that's been wanting to play with a Chosen One, one of us Chosen Ones here, they're, they're, they're trying to sell drugs to your karmic, and you saw them. So, you saw this person that Try to mess with you, Collective, some way. So, uh, so us chosen ones know every time that they try to sell drugs to her family. Ah, and they're, 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 they're burdened with guilt. Their, their heart weighs a hundred pounds at the moment because, because they know, uh, they're going through a dark night of the soul. Somebody in your family or friend group. And you've been trying to help this person, but they don't they don't believe in chosen ones. They don't believe that nothing's gonna happen to them collective. That's what it means, okay? Um, see, cause you you're going through a spiritual awakening right now, and you might be feeling connected with others in nature. You have uh, overwhelming appreciation to for yourself and others. You you appreciate what you have, you know, and and, and you appreciate because you you already went through that damn dark night of the soul, you know. And this person, this person that's in your friend or family, they do shit spontaneously. Uh, that's all that. That's the only way that they know how to do things. And they've been doing energy manipulation work on us collective, uh, trying to make you not pay attention to your intuition because they know. That you will not want them anymore. When the truth comes out about them. When the truth comes out about them. That they've been selling. That they've still been buying dope. And that's why their heart's heavy and burdened. Now, did you hear that? So, and it says, I look out beyond the maple tree. And wish for you, my love. That you'll come to me and just break free. And lovers, you and me will be for all to see. That's why me, Pam, that poem. So, so somebody is trying to manipulate your energy. They're they're trying to uh, get you back on dope, but you you're not into that. You you're not into that, and you're fighting for yourself now. Huh? You finally found that you wanted to work for yourself. Good, good collective. Good, 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 and. <clears throat> Oh, and it says, uh, you can't convince people who you truly are, Collective, but God will show them through divine intervention his new child. Huh, see? So, uh, you're, you're a new person. Uh, you appreciate everything because you're a chosen one. You know that this karmic sells drugs to somebody in your family that you told they better not do drugs again, and they're still doing it. And, and you're fighting for yourself. And, and, and when all this, when all the truth finally comes out, Maybe you're going to leave this person and be by yourself. Mm -hmm. And it says, who's to say that a smile or an outstretched hand from a stranger is not an act of an angel in disguise? And that's by unknown. See? So, um, so somebody that is in your family group, they know that you have somebody that that cares for you you're you're like an angel to these people you you're like an angel to these people and they're just burdened with guilt and it says this man will kill for his spiritual woman he knows your value is unmeasurable so so somebody loves you they want you to break free from this person that lying to you they're not wanting you to go towards they're not wanting you to go towards that person you know it but Seems like Divine's trying to tell you, and Spirit guided you to tell on these people that, that had wronged you. Spirit guides you to tell on them, and, and all their dirty secrets is coming out. That's why that's why they feel heavy and burdened with guilt. 
uh, you know, because they see your true light shining bright. This person, um, this spiritual partner of yours, they think you're an angel in disguise, and they see your true light and divinity shining through. But this other person in your family, they can't, they can't see it. And they just keep digging up stuff from the past about you. And this person is amazed by the transformation that you went through. So all these people do is trying to make you feel guilty for for things that you used to do. And, and people's amazed because you stopped doing all that. And it says, if I have to tell you all, all the wrongs that you've done to me, why would I forgive you when you all come at me with your all sorries and apologies? Uh when I know that you only apologize when you get caught in the act. See, all this shit you went through, you, you, you've been apologizing, and this person has been caught in the act going around and buying drugs, and, 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 uh, they're, they are, um, they're hoping that you'll get overstressed and stop doing this practice. Did you hear that? No. No, no, no. We're, we're not going to stop, are we, Collective? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Now, let me get another one. So, remember, uh, this this divine intervention helped you and your, and your spiritual partner. And your spiritual partner knows that all their dirty secrets is coming out. And they want you to fight for yourself and come to them. So, all can see your true light shining bright. Because you and, you and your spiritual partner are angels in disguise. You're angels. And these people, all they can say is, sorry, I'm a dopehead. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a dopehead. And what they did is they played around with you, a chosen one. Well, karma. They're going to get karma. They're getting ready to have karma because they're going to get busted for selling drugs to somebody in your family. <laughs> was that funny? I thought it was. Didn't you, Collective, how that come out? Okay, these are all ones that I had already done. So I'm going to put them over. Our... Okay, new story. Na na new story. Some guy feels trapped in a loveless relationship collective. He's sad. He's sad. He's sad. Nobody loves him. He's sad. He's sad. That's that family member. They're sad because you know you 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 call them. They're sad and and they know that you're destined to be wealthy for your good deeds sown. You're a damn money tree. My idea, nobody steal it. No, I know everybody likes to blab it all the time, but this is my idea. They're sad because they know that all your good deeds sown, you're, you're getting ready to have money. And they wanted to keep you, um, they wanted to keep you stuck with them and no money. Do you understand? They don't want you to have nothing. And, uh, what gives people the right to think they can just take and take from you and then they'll act like they didn't do nothing to you or steal from you? So whoever this guy is, they're trying to steal your fucking money. They're trying to steal your money. Get off of my channel. Get off of my channel. They're drowning in their emotions. They're, they don't know how to speak their emotions. That's what it is. But they're, they're never going to be honest with you. They're never going to be honest with you. But all I know is somebody's going to be caught for drunk driving. They're drowning in their emotions and they're drunk driving. Somebody might actually be drunk driving their ice right into the ocean, it looks like. <laughs> Somebody might actually get that down drunk and just run off a bridge into water. Or they're going to just go driving into the ocean somewhere. People are goofy, you know. What else about sad guy? You got to let people, places, and things go in order to receive all the blessings from up above and from the divine and source. Bye, bye, love, doo, doo. See, this man's sad because he knows that you're going to leave him when you find out what all he did to you. Look, look. Chosen ones will always have people come after and betray you, and God will reveal all who hurt you to redeem you. See? See, they you're going to be redeemed, so don't worry. Don't you worry. And these people that act like they are not stealing from you, um, these people took you for granted. They took you for granted through all your life's ups and downs and all your life lessons. This could be somebody stealing from you in tarot land. And if you steal from me, I'm going to know because my card has been out for a while. So we can all link it back to where you stole it from, okay? Okay. Okay.
I need help getting around this spiritual community because I told you this son of a bitch man and woman did this to me. And rumors doesn't equal truth. It only makes it harder on you to get out of all the lies and slander. There's three sides of the story. Yours, theirs, and the truth. <coughs> so, this person, this sad-ass man has been drunk driving and telling rumors on you. They, they've took you for granted. They took you for granted. They don't want you to have any money. And, you know, and spirit saying, you only live once. You only live once. You're going to have to say bye to this person that is that feels like sad and depressed. And while it's because they're doing too much drugs and alcohol or whatever. And don't let these other readers who poke at you have any response from you again and you will win. See, so they, these readers that goes around saying my sayings that I've wrote on my cards, all that means is, I stop poking. I'm not poking, and I and I don't care if they poke at me because I know one thing: my work is going to be seen all around the world, and and I don't let these people get to me anymore. Did you hear me? I don't. I don't. But whoever this is, they're drunk, and they believe every rumor. And if you if you if they ask you something, they'll question you and look it up to see if you're telling the truth. Somebody like that, they don't fucking love you. You know that collected? They don't. They really don't love you. They they actually hate you. That's why they always have to look for everything else, okay? And uh, what it's saying is you don't compare yourself to other people. You love yourself for who you are. See, and, and, and that's great. So uh, whoever's going around lying and saying rumors, you're healed. You're healed and you're happy with yourself. And somebody um, is getting ready to be put in a casket that's what it said uh somebody's be going, going to be going through a roller coaster of emotions because they're getting ready to be put in a casket because they're drunk driving and they're drowning in their emotions and it's going to happen uh right now fall is about over you know when winter solstice comes and that's december the 21st i think or the 22nd so so, uh, life feels refreshing in the fall. You need to breathe in this fresh air. But what it's saying to me is, in in the fall, somebody is going to be laid to rest. And, and it's about the end of fall, so that's going to happen any day now. And this person's trying to make you out to be the bad person. Like, they forgetting all the hell that they brought into your life was all out of envy and jealousy and not wanting you to keep moving forward towards your goals. You got to leave this toxic bunch behind and don't look back. Leave the toxic bunch behind and don't look back. Because, and, and maybe you did, you know, if you're like me, I left people in my community. I left my job in my real community and I started doing this. And see, I didn't look back. So, so this is somebody that you might have worked with and they, they might have stole a lot of your money from you. And they act like they didn't do nothing but... God always tells on them, if you noticed. And, and now all these people seeing that their tricks and lies that they're telling to others for fun was only getting them karma and bad luck and bringing endings into their lives now. God helps his chosen, chosen, chosen twice. And chosen was on the other one, wasn't it? I love spirit. Do you love spirit? See, I know I'm chosen, so i tell you right now. Bad luck is coming to... And if this community, like it said, didn't it say a reader? It's a reader in your community. There's an ending coming into their life. And if they've made fun of me about my child dying, I hate it for you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I know what that means. I don't have nothing to worry about. So these people that went around lying on me and not trying to help me get around, but they stole all my great ideas and they're scared of me, I don't I don't know what to tell you because I... I, I I know, I know what's going to happen, and, and somebody's been putting poison in your drinks and food when you turn your back, so, bye-bye, bye-bye, see, I left places like that, because one day my brother said, Pam, pour that coffee out, <laughs> so I poured it out, so I was like, what, what's going on, and something told me that somebody might have been trying to poison me at my, at one of my jobs, yeah, mm-hmm. An apology would go a long way, even though it's hard at the end of the day. I apologize. That's all that there is to say. Just keeping it real day to day. That's by me, Pound Star Oracle. See, they, they don't know how to apologize. 
And that would have went a long way for you if they had just apologized. But they're not going to apologize that. They went around tricking and lying to people. Because uh, they didn't want you to receive your blessings from the, from the divine. You know they're a bunch of toxic bullshitters. That they went and told a bunch of bullshit. Because they was envious and jealous of you. Because they knew that you was meant to be a chosen one here on earth. To do a practice like this. They know um, they're driving you radically. They're like, it's like an up and down roller coaster, their emotions are. And this person's getting ready to be put in the casket. And, and, and you're going to be able to breathe. When this person is put in the casket, you're going to be able to breathe. And, you, and you're going to be happy with yourself. That's what Spirit just said. So don't get mad at me if it didn't help you. But I think this will help people. So y'all need to help me get it around today, okay? I think, I think so, because somebody's trying to influence people in your job that you're trying to create right now, and all I know is this person, they're going to wish they hadn't did that. They're going to wish they hadn't did that, because I done told everybody, hey, I know the law personally, so if y'all mess with me, I'm going to go talk to the law. That's all I have to do. So y'all mess with me, the law is right in front of me. Believe me or not, believe me or not, I know them, okay? I know them. I know, know, know them. Yeah, we know them. Can we have uh, one more little something? And if my phone cuts off, I'm going to put this reading out. My husband's liable to call. You're a two-spirit person. You are blessed by the Creator to see life through the eyes of both genders and this is something that the indians believe it's nothing to do about lgbtq community it's nothing to do about that <laughs> and uh, it says when you see a crab it may mean that they're doing lunar magic on you a spiritual person so so um they know that you're balancing your masculine and feminine and these people are doing magic lunar magic they're doing it in the moon and they're listening in on your phone calls they bug they they might have even bugged your house they might even bug your house. And the way I'm seeing it is two people may have done this to this one spiritual person. Are you listening? And uh, this man and or woman knows that you are their true love from a higher source. No one can match your true love energy. See, you and your partner are in love and you all have, you're all from a higher source. And that's why they're doing lunar magic on you. And uh, your patience is spread really thin with this person. Uh, you, you're feeling like, why do you even keep trying with this person? That's the person that's taking, that's doing this magic on you. And it feels like it's a game with this one person. And uh, these people might have uh, uh, abused their authority. These people might have actually harmed their children. And you don't like, and I don't like people like that. And you sensed all this. This person is feeling panicked now because they're they're trying to navigate through all this darkness. They don't know why all this shit's happening. See, so if these people bugged you and thought it was funny, it's funny now because because they're going through darkness and people is going to judge them for being shitty to their children. They might have used to whoop their children or something. Whoever this is. You know, but they put a love spell on you to fall in love with him or her. Oh, well, that's why they're panicked. I told you they was doing magic, so they're doing love magic spells on you. They're doing love magic spells on you. And, and this, and, and, uh, and somebody appreciates your being there and showing them, Showing up for them like a loving spiritual warrior. They think of you many times a day and they're pulling on your telepathic energy. On your they're pulling on your energy through telepathy. So so um somebody is trying to match your love energy. That's what it's saying. They're trying to get you to fall in love and they're trying to speak to you telepathically. But they're panicked because this whoever they are, they've abused their children or their or their woman behind closed doors, and and this person's getting on your fucking nerves, whoever they are, because you know they did magic love spells on you, and and you know that they was against you the whole time. They they was going around lying and saying you was a gold digger when this person was the one actually taken from you all the time. Look, what else, spirit? 
what else honor abuse kids or oh hey lady spirit but you voice what you feel you're brave enough to stand up to all these people who feel like they're better because they got more money than you do see you stand up to these people that tries to paddle you or whatever you know because you're a hayoka you're a hayoka and you're the strongest type of empath here on earth you open people's minds to new perspectives by acting as a mirror and poking satirical fun at the situation, making light of serious circumstances, allowing people to see themselves in a different way and begin to heal rather than be stuck in a wallowing point of view. And I got that from your tango. So, so uh, you know, you're a Hayoka. You, you understand why this person's energy is off at the moment because they're trying to navigate through all their darkness. Because they went around uh, pretending to be a loving warrior of yours. But all it was is they know you have a true love. And they put a love spell on you so you would stay with them. That's all it is. That is all that it is. What else do we need to know? They were judging you for a bunch of shit they didn't even know about you or your side of the story. They, they, they was judging you the wrong way. Well, and didn't they know that you're a Hayoka and that's what you're allowed to do? And your beauty is stunning. One look from you makes my heart beat as fast as a hummingbird's wings are fluttering. I love you, lovely lady. That's my me, Pam. So, see... This is your person that's talking to you telepathically. They actually do love you. And they know that you was judged uh, wrong. And they know that this group was actually bullying you around. Uh, a bunch of other people trying to make you feel uncomfortable and out of sorts. Now they're going to try to put you down on your, on, on your platform. They're going to... Uh, be paying for all this sly work that they are doing to you. So now they're going to start fucking with your channel. And and I done knew this. And I know that it also might be another Hayoka that fucked with my channel. Because my channel was getting around. And then as soon as I said something about her taking the G out from me and my collective. My channel quit growing. Yeah, I noticed. And I noticed that um, Kenny, the one that thought of it, she don't never hardly talk to him anymore. But they paid the wrong person to do you wrong and, and to fuck with your channel because cause, uh, cause, uh, they're getting ready to squeal like a pig under interrogation. Did you hear that? They're, gonna be, they're a squealing rat. They're a squealing rat to the cops, whoever a squealing pig is. They're squealing, and they wish they, they're, they're going to be wishing they hadn't fucked with you. But uh, they, they, they're, they're never going to see the changes that you made for the better. They're, they're never going to understand that. And somebody misses your intellectual and complex mind. They know you have a very complex mind. They love you. And they have seen the changes. And they know what this little squealing rat is going down. Squealing rat is going down. And it could be somebody in Hollywood. Oh, Venus love Libra Taurus. So, they could be squealing like a pig. It could be a, a Libra or a Taurus squealing like a pig. And that's funny. I do know a Hayoka Taurus. Yeah, it, I do. Oh, and what it said. Somebody's person can't sleep because they know that they was working against you this whole time. Lying. And you unmask this person. You unmask that person. And, uh, and it says, why would you cut your feelings off totally for me? See, you're needing to cut your feelings off totally for that person. Because they're doing a lot of underhanded stuff you are not even aware of. And you're a true woman. You're a true woman that's very smart. And that person don't have a damn clue about who or what the hell they want. They don't know who or what they want in life. And because um, they don't know how to be grateful for what all they got and stand up for what they do have. They don't know how to do that. But when horse comes around, and if you see Hawks regularly, then know that he's asking of you to see that situation exactly as it is. See it exactly as it is. See it exactly as it is. They're just fucking with you. Not no worth any. This person is heartless. Heartless. They're they're addicted to your personality and smile. <laughs> 